హాయ్ ఐఎమ్ శివరామ్ ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ కన్యామూరు డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ తమిళనాడు ఐ డిడ్ మై బ్యాచులర్స్ ఇన్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ మై ఏరియా ఆఫ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఇస్ హీ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ థర్మల్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అదర్ ఐ డిడ్ మై ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఇన్ సోలార్ థర్మల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అదర్ వీ హ్యాడ్ డెవలప్డ్ అ సిస్టమ్ అబౌట్ పారాబోలిక్ టాఫ్ కలెక్టర్ సో ఇన్ డూయింగ్ మై ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఐ గెట్ మోర్ మోటివేటెడ్ to do more work in solar energy solar energy uh, requires more attention and focus as it is uh, not a, 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 as it not uh, give you a constant input and uh, fluctuate daily as well as uh, for the whole year and uh, based on location it varies so uh, it trucker it truck it's more challenging and requires more attention i had planned to develop a system uh, Uh, for uh, domestic applications as well as multiple outputs and for the uh, which focused uh, mainly for the uh, densely constructed zones and people below lower middle class category as india is concerned 80% of the people are below lower middle class category uh, uh, so uh, i plan to develop a device uh, which is an integrated one uh, with multiple outputs uh, which might be a solution uh, for the uh, densely packed zones so the problem in the densely packed zones are uh, uh, hygiene sanitation uh, pro- proper uh, sanitation uh, inadequate indoor air quality uh, clean and portable water availability is uh, not good and then in- interrupted power supply and uh, and many other problems were there in such zones where people are more focused on their daily wages and daily activities and they uh, they more focus on uh, the upgradation of their lifestyles and our government also uh, more likely to focus on the people in such category to raise their uh, living index uh, so uh, the solution is needed uh, in such situation which need to be affordable and uh, which can be applied in such situation is required and the energy economic and environmental perspectives are uh, uh, much needed uh, uh, to develop such systems uh, so my project is in uh, uh, a development of a passive solar energy systems which can supply uh, air ventilation uh, clean water and power uh, so uh, this is a task i had planned uh, to f- uh, finish uh, during my uh, uh, phd work air ventilation concern uh, we require uh, certain uh, air change per hour instead of volume of room uh, so as per standards ashray and indian standards were available so based on that for a three person in a room of 27 meter cube we require certain standards to meet to which uh, which is not possible in a densely constructed zones uh, mostly people uh, uh, focus uh, mainly on uh, people rely mainly on the wind uh, to enter into the room but in densely constructed zones the possibility of wind entering the uh, room is not uh, feasible so the air ventilation problem uh, is, uh, is is mainly in the densely constructed zones and uh, improper ventilation may leads to uh, indoor pollutant levels which may leads to health problems but the awareness towards this uh, in indoor iaq is very less among the people uh, in this category in the densely populated category and again uh, clean water uh, cities or urban areas mostly uh, rely uh, 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 drinking water from uh, ground water or from uh, distant lakes lake source uh, so chennai is concerned uh, the uh, there were many uh, lakes around chennai so around uh, 100 to 200 kilometers so uh, the municipal corporation uh, pump water from the, those lakes to to supply to the cities and in summer uh, summer concern the water uh, problem is very, very high in uh, such cities chennai city and then uh, the uh, the next solution to such problem is the ground water uh, the conversion of ground water uh, to potable water uh, so the tds level total dissolved solid levels of such water in such cities is very high uh, due to industrialization uh, the pollution level of water is also very high and may require a uh, uh, sustainable solution to 
meet out such problems people use ro uh, reverse civil osmosis uh, reverse osmosis uh, systems to uh, reduce the tds uh, and uh, uh, clean the water uh, uh, uv rays uh, uh, filtration techniques uh, these are the techniques the people are using to um, meet record standards but uh, these are all affordable for uh, people uh, uh, who are in a certain category uh, so uh, so the uh, need for a renewable system is required in such uh, places within power so power is concern uh, uh, people are uh, 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 electricity they, they, are, uh, they are getting electricity from uh, um, electricity board and where uh, coal power plants uh, oil and gas power plants are there uh, to supply the electricity and but in recent days uh, uh, solar power voltage system uh, is increasing uh, in such areas and uh, the awareness towards self sustainable uh, power production uh, among people is rising so the impact of uh, solar power voltage system is increasing and again the solar power voltage system also have some drawbacks uh, which uh, which is uh, focused uh, which, which in my research Uh, I focus to rectify the drawbacks of solar photovoltaic systems. Uh, my research uh, uh, includes an, uh, the development of uh, integrated system. So, I integrated three systems, three integrated systems, which makes use of the waste of uh, waste energy of one system and can be used as a source for other system. so in my uh, integrated system i use the condensation rate of solar steel uh, to to be carried away by the air uh, so i integrated a solar steel uh, with the solar chimney and the fresh air from the solar steel uh, which takes away the heat from the condensation so which reduces the condensation surface and automatically the water production is increased uh, so uh, there are three systems uh, which is integrated to a car there are two system two integrated system this integrated to a common solar chimney so there we can get a uh, multiple outputs uh, three outputs uh, uh, like uh, air ventilation clean water and power uh, which is a uh, which is a, which is better than an individual system uh, the building coupled with the integrated system uh, we analyze the performance uh, uh, like air ventilation what's air ventilation rate what's the power produced and how much amount of water it can it can produce and uh, based on that uh, we are estimating the uh, feasibility uh, how much it need how much solar cell it's needed how much pv uh, uh, panels required to produce the uh, amount of uh, needed power and uh, the ventilation rate whether it is uh, it suits the um, international and national norms uh, so these are the uh, uh, following ups uh, we are planning to uh, complete and how the system reacts in the summer winter conditions and different different climatic conditions in the locations uh, so these are the uh, these are the follow ups we need to uh, three multiple uh, three outputs uh, passive system there are no moving parts and uh, sustainable one uh, based on the energy and rental economic perspective uh, we can say the developed system uh, is uh, and run really feasible and economic friendly uh, technically and run really and economically feasible uh, we are in a, a situation where uh, the research in the present uh, time is uh, requirement is very high and we need to focus more towards a sustainable solution uh, the sustainable solution is uh, the one which makes us more uh, efficient self driven and, uh, and the self sustainable uh, uh, solution uh, uh, is a one we need and uh, uh, i think we are lacking in uh, self sustainability um, i uh, wish all uh, research uh, coming research will fulfill uh, the self sustainability of the people living in the world thank you